Hey everybody, I'm really excited because I just received in the mail, just even a few moments ago, my uh, new set of M. Graham watercolor paints. I'm really excited about this. A number of artists that I admire use this and recommend this paint, and I really wanted to give it a try. I currently use Magello Mission Gold set, which um, I purchased a while ago, and that's kind of been my first set of uh, paints that I've used, and they, I've liked them. Uh, I haven't had a complaint, but I really wanted to try some other professional grade paints. So I went ahead and purchased these. I'm going to talk a bit about um, where I got them and how much they cost in a minute. But this, as you can see here, is their 10 color deluxe watercolor set. Uh, I purchased it on Amazon.com and I wanted to bring up the actual um, ad here. You can see it on my phone. Um, this particular advertising here, right here, uh, refers to this as the M. Graham 10 set intermediate 10 color watercolor paint set in half ounce tubes for $61.82. And that was the price that I paid uh, just a little bit ago. But I noticed there are a number of people on Amazon asking the question uh, about the name intermediate, wondering if this is potentially like a student grade set, not a professional grade set. Um, so I did a little research on that, and from what I read and understand, that M. Graham only has one grade of paints, and that is their professional grade paints. And the word intermediate here just refers to kind of a starter set, and that it's 10 colors that get you started that they feel is a base set. Um, is a good a good set to start with, but it by no means refers to a quality, intermediate quality of paint. So um, I think it's funny that it's called that there, but in the artwork here, as well as actually on the packaging here, it's called a deluxe watercolor set. So uh, I think this again is their one and only grade, professional grade paint. One of the things that M. Graham watercolor paints are known for, as it states here on the packaging, is that it's made with honey. And uh, this gives it a unique characteristic. Uh, as I say, it gives a vibrancy of color as well as prevents hardening. The, um, as I state here on the back of the package, it's made with um, natural blackberry honey and pure gum arabic. It's a combination of those two binders. And uh, this does tend to keep the paints a little bit softer um, in the palette. They quickly reactivate when uh, activated with water and uh, that is a nice feature. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, again, it's a 10 color set. I'm just gonna go ahead and break into this here. Take a look at the different colors that are included in this 10 color deluxe watercolor set. They have a, a nice set of both warm and cool colors. We have, first of all, here, the Azo Yellow, uh, which is specifically a PY151 pigment. Next, we have the Permanent Al uh, Alazarin Crimson color here, which is PR264. Next, we have their Ultramarine Blue, which is PB29, Sap Green, which is their combination of PG7 and PY110. Includes also Burt Sienna, which is their PBR7, Pyrrole Red, PR254. They have Phalo Green included in this set. PG7, their Azo Orange, which is a PO62, Nickel, uh, Quinicodone Gold, can't say that very well, and that is their PY150 as well as PO48. And last but not least, Dioxazin Purple, PY23. Really excited to get started with these. As you can see, they come in uh, half fluid ounce containers, which is equivalent to a 15 milliliter size tube. So it's a real generous amount of paint in each one of those. 
So uh, in a future video, I plan to uh, swatch these out and do a little comparison between these and my uh, Magello Mission Gold watercolor set that I'm currently painting with. All right, I'll look forward to showing you that video very soon. Thanks for watching. If this was helpful to you, please subscribe to my channel. I plan to continue to put out videos like this and uh, share some of my watercolor techniques. Thanks.